it is a scorcher here today on the farm. It is so hot. Not quite as hot as these cayenne peppers. I'm thrilled to have this as my first little harvest, just this little colander's worth, because here on the farm, we are surrounded by about 300 black walnut trees. And it makes growing things like tomatoes and cucumbers and certain squashes and peppers virtually impossible. So you can see I've got some raised beds behind me. That's how we grow those particular vegetables. We bring in soil and grow them in raised beds. So this is our first little harvest. I'm thrilled. So I am today going to be stringing up these cayenne. They're gorgeous, they're crinkly, fun variety, and hanging them with my cured meats and my onions to enjoy all winter long. I love using cayenne to add a touch of spice to some of my dark chocolate cakes, and of course salsa in all our favorite Mexican dishes. So let's go inside and I'll show you how easy it is to string up peppers so that you can enjoy them all year. So I found some respite from the heat. I have a needle. I have a uh, cotton string, like just sewing string. I boosted it from my sewing room. I've got it doubled. And what I did was I tied it to the end of this cayenne pepper, um, ran the needle through and then tied it. Let me be specific. And now I'm not gonna be able to thread this needle while you're watching me. Hold on a second. Good gravy. Here we go. All right, so what I did was I ran it through the base and then I tied a knot, no problem. So we have our first cayenne. And then this is so easy. When you pick your cayenne, be sure you get the stem because you're just gonna run the needle through that and pull it through. This is actually a really fast project and you can store them all year long. They'll last for a year or more. I keep mine in a well-ventilated area. These are either gonna go with my uh, cured meats or they're gonna go with my onions, but they add a splash of color to the pantry, to the larder, wherever you're keeping yours. You can hang them right in your kitchen, no big deal. Moving air is good for them. Oops. If you get a bad jab, just redo it. It's no big deal. Run it down. See, they start to look so fun. You can do this with any of your chili peppers. Obviously cayenne is the one we're used to seeing at restaurants or fake ones in the Hobby Lobby aisle, but you can see how those are stacking up. They're beautiful. You can get a nice big dull needle and set your kids to doing this. If you wanna show them how, you don't have to worry about them getting hurt, they'll enjoy it. This makes a lovely presentation. Now, if you're really sensitive, you might want to wear like a painter's mask, like a dusk mask, because I can definitely feel this in the back of my throat, and I am a super spicy gal. I can handle the heat, but boy, it is definitely happening. It's gorgeous. I love that. That is so fun. So I hope you're enjoying these little videos. I sure have fun putting them together. You can follow me on Instagram at Parisian Farm Girl, P-A-R-I-S-I-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E. and of course on the blog at ParisianFarmGirl.com.